Hey guys. Anyway, so I'm back with another video and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I got this hair, what products I use. As you can tell by the title, you kind of know what product I used anyway. It's the African Pride, their new curl defining gel. I like it. So let's get into it. I'm gonna show you guys step by step what I did, how I got it. Um, I did stretch my hair, but I'll get into all that at the end of the video. So I'm not even gonna bore you guys with that. Before we hop into the video though, make sure you guys are subscribed and turn those notifications on so you don't miss an upload. I am here for you, okay? And yeah, let's hop into this video. I'm ready to go. So I'm actually going to show you guys just the front section. I just completed the back. Um, I do have my leave-in conditioner already in from the shower. Um, so I did apply that. Next on top of that, I actually went in with their, um, I forgot what it's called. It's like their curl enhancing cream, their curl cream. I went in with that. I probably shouldn't have did this. But I don't know, I just felt like with the leave-in, my hair didn't feel like super moisturized. I don't know. So I went in with that on top of the leave-in conditioner. And I just go in and detangle my hair with the brush. Um, and then I break that down into smaller sections. And then I go in with the um, curl defining gel and just apply that on top. I don't want to say I probably shouldn't have done this. But I don't know. I'll, I'll get into it at the end of the video. But um I'm just gonna go in with the curl defining gel. Um, it's definitely giving me wet line vibe as far as like actually being able to weigh my hair down. Um, and I just go in and I do shingle my hair. This is the method I'm using for this particular wash and go. I don't always shingle my hair, but I find when I use like certain like gels, like especially like really thick ones, I just find myself um, shingling my hair and it's not always on purpose. Um, as you guys can see, um, this is, there's like some white residue, obviously it'll dry clear, obviously, but I will say I did kind of notice with using this, I did have some like flaking at the end, which I think I discussed at the end, but that kind of annoys me a little bit only because it's all from the same line, same brand, same everything. I feel like you know, it really shouldn't do that, but, and I didn't use a lot. Um, so I can't even say I used a lot. I didn't use a lot of the gel and I didn't use a lot of the actual, um, curling smoothie. I forgot what it's called, but I will have everything linked down in the description box, but I'm going to go through, finish my hair and I will be back when everything is completed. So you guys can see how it looks when all the product is applied. Okay, before I hop into my thoughts about the hair, this is how it looks after all the product is applied. And this is how it looked after I sat under the hooded dryer for about an hour and a half and it is 100% dry. It's super shrunken. I did sit under a, I did go in and stretch my hair and fluff it out, which you guys will see in a minute. But I just wanted to show you guys this real quick before I hop into my final. Okay guys, so this is the finished hair. After I let my hair dry, I did sit under the hooded dryer for about an hour and 15 minutes, hour and 20 minutes, um, and it's completely dry. And then I did stretch my hair with my blow dryer like I normally do, and just banded my hair until I was ready to take my hair down after I did my makeup. Um, and this is how the results came out. Obviously I did shingle my hair, so it's super defined. Um, which, you know, that's kind of usually what I do when I use like an actual gel. When I use a cream, I don't shingle my hair that often, which is weird, but you know, this is what I wanted to do. Um, but I love the shine. I love the definition. 
very 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 nice definitely giving me like wet line vibes of how my hair loosely looks with that i will say i did have to scrunch out some crunch which is fine it's not a big deal you're gonna have a gel cast anytime you use gel i just scrunched it out with the african pride moisture miracle oil um i did that and then i did stretch it with my blow dryer and just left my hair in some bands until i was ready to take it out um but this is how it looks i love it it's super nice I love banding my hair because it kind of gives my hair like a lot more movement than if I just like kind of do the praying hands method or the raking effort for me. Um, I find that when I do that. But the one thing I will say about shingling is that I guess less, I get less volume. So, you know, which is, it's not a bad thing, but after a couple days, I'll probably get a little bit of volume, but honestly not that much. But I do like how it turned out. Um, it's super pretty, definitely very shiny, definitely feels moisturized. My hair doesn't feel super dry. Um, um, yes, I love this gel. I think it's gonna be a definitely gonna be, you know, definitely something I'm gonna be reaching for and I love how it looks. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know some other um, videos or products you guys wanna see here on my channel. Leave them down in the description box and thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.